Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nairi and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. But today I want to talk about Scent of Woods. So let's get into it. What is Scent of Woods? Scent of Woods is a line where they use your memories, your thoughts, and all the things that you can always remember about things. You write rain, bread, you know, all of all of the things that makes life so amazing. So what they did, and then they they take all of those memories and develop a fragrance for it. And then they put it inside of wood casing. So it would be like in a chestnut barrel, some, similar to how you would do wine, right? So uh, a chestnut barrel, it could be an oak barrel. It could be, uh, a barrel that held bourbon. So that is what their thoughts of are when it comes down to what is scent of woods. An amazing concept, beautiful fragrances. So I wanted to dive deep into scent of woods. So if that's something you have been wanting to know more about, then stay tuned, okay? So let's just dive deep in, into it. I don't wanna hold you very long. Uh, I want to make sure that we do discuss everything that's inside of each one of them. Uh, what I'll do for you is I'm going to also give you all of the notes of the fragrance and what did I love most about it. I actually got into Scent of Woods through a subscription. So I have bottles that look like this. But I won't, uh, I, I will show you what the bottles do actually come in as. Well, so let's begin with bread in chestnut that name i know isn't it absolutely amazing bread in chestnut is a fragrance that uh has sandalwood chestnut tonka bean wheat uh cardamom rosemary a benzoin uh you get a bit of patchouli but not very strong patchouli patchouli in it so when you think of bread and chestnut, think of like a bakery, right? It's that bready, so the wheat kind of give you like that bready note, almost like a um, um, a brochette type uh, note, right? So along with that, uh, think of like not roasted chestnut, but like chestnut that you would kind of get like the actual nut that you would crack that's what this one is right and if i haven't talked about it how you are able to get some of these fragrances is you can put them in whatever heart shape because that's a heart uh shape bottle right and you could pick a black lid you could pick a gold lid you could pick any lids that you want to put on it uh you can customize it but bread of chestnut was one of the ones that i fell really hard for uh, in my subscription, I was so looking forward to it and it did not disappoint. The wheat, the chestnut, the sandalwood, the creaminess of that sandalwood with the touch of rosemary and cardamom, hit it right off the park. I really like this one. Now let's talk about vanilla and bourbon. Oh, vanilla and bourbon is, in my opinion, it is angel share on another level right so think of that so with here you're going to get cinnamon cardamom you're going to get the lemon zest uh myrrh uh gallic wood vanilla latamin and a bit of uh what is that that's in it it's like a bit of um balsamic almost like a balsamic vinegar right so when I smelled this one here, my expectation is I was going to get like a lot of vanilla with bourbon, but it, it didn't turn into that. What it turned into is a gorgeous scent that can be worn in cold weather. It's a fragrance that is, it does have a bit of vanilla to it, but it's not that sticky vanilla. It's like a very adult vanilla note. The myrrh in it kind of makes it where it could be worn in the fall. It can be worn on a cool, breezy day. This one is another one that did not disappoint. Uh, my expectations was, was different from the name that I saw for the subscription, but the fragrance was absolutely 
beautiful. So I am still trying to decide when I'm going to put this one in my collection. Now, this one here is one of the newer ones that came out. I just got this one, I want to say, a couple of months back. I haven't really had an opportunity to really uh, wear this one. So this is going to be something that we're going to kind of dive into it. I remember some of the things about it, uh, but let's really get into it. This is called Pine in the Sun. Pine in the Sun is such a nostalgic type fragrance, right? It smells like a beautiful walk in a park. You get rum absolute, purple plum, uh, pine, cinnamon, leatherman, a like a skin touch, like a skin kissed sun note, and then you get immortel, immortel flo uh, floral note. The pine in it, I'll tell you this: the pine in it does give you like you're on a walk in a in a forest like a like a one of those hikes you made a hike you took a hike right and you could smell the fresh uh tree notes after the dew has hit it right and maybe you have a glass uh like a little drink in your hand you know you're just taking you an after dinner uh stroll so the plum and the rum that's blending blending together kind of gives you this beautiful fruity um boozy note but then the pine the cinnamon and that sun note kind of lets you know that you you are outside like you're you're taking in the air you're listening to the birds chirp you're seeing the beautiful sky that is what sun pine and sun is to me i will say this does smell a lot better on male chemistry but I'm not saying that a woman can't wear it because it has the immortal, the floral note, right? In it too, it has the Latterman. Uh, if, if you're, I would say wear this in like a sunny atmosphere, sunny weather, warm weather. Um, I'm pretty positive that this would project. But like I said, this is a new one to my collection. So I have to, you know, kind of work on it, give it a little more time. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is called Patchouli and Rye. I was so excited. I love patchouli, right? I feel that note long, as long as it's not a really earthy patchouli note, I love it in fragrances, right? So patchouli and rye is nutmeg, rose oil, uh, gerangelum, mandarin orange, patchouli, a pink pepper note, and this beautiful soft latterman. This fragrance to me, uh, for someone who is not that fond of patchouli, I feel like you can, re you would really enjoy this one. You would enjoy it because you would get such a gorgeous, rosy, patchouli, nutmeg, kind of warm note. It has a touch of uh, orange to it and it, and this pink, the spicy pink pepper. This would be great. <laughs> this would be really good for someone wanting to try out patchouli. I would try this one here, patchouli in rye. Now, I was looking for more of a, um, when I thought of rye, I thought this would be kind of bready, like maybe similar to how bread and chestnut was, but it wasn't. It wasn't bready. Um, I think I was kind of thinking of that rye bread, that dark bread you would get when you go to restaurants i was looking for that note i did not get that um but it it didn't change it didn't change my love for the fragrance um and how much i look forward to pulling this one out uh just to be unique just to be different amongst everyone wearing fragrances okay so i have one for some vanilla lovers i know you've been waiting this, to hear something about vanilla they tend to put vanilla a lot in fragrances um so i wanted to I, I really like fragrances that are not just the typical vanilla well vanilla almanac or vanilla in almanac is this one here and this is cacao pod vanilla a bitter orange so like a sour type orange lemon and sandalwood the notes are very simple. It's very simple in this fragrance, um, but the fragrance is not simple. So if you like a vanilla fragrance with a little chocolate, not that heavy um, uh, chocolate, greedy type chocolate, but more of like the cacao pie, the cocoa-ness of the chocolate, 
then I would go with Vanilla Almanac. Uh, the bitter orange and the lemon blend kind of give it a, like a, a cinnamon, a, a citrus burst, but then you get this woody sandalwood. Not a creamy sandalwood, but a woody sandalwood. Vanilla and Almanac, I think, would be a good one for you to try. Okay, so this one here, I would say for a more floral, tropical lover, this is your one that I think you should try. And like I said, try, try them out. Uh, I hope you do the subscription like I did. Or, or you can even do samples. I'll check into it and see if they're samples. This one here is called Papyrus in... Um, Acara, Acaria. That's like, let me see. Um, yeah, Acara. Um, and I have the, I always have the name written on the bottom of it. Uh, this one here is tuberose and coconut. Uh, le leather. It has a solar note to it. It does have the papyrus in it. Um, in it. Uh, and there's a vetiver. There's like a deep vetiver in it. This one here, uh, the bottle that I saw was perfect for it, right? This bottle was was white with a gold top on it. Uh, it was great because it actually explained this fragrance. The juice is green, so I want. Um, I think they were leaning more towards the more papyrus type uh, uh, aspect of it, the more greeny of it. But it wasn't green. It was more tuberose than green. So uh, if you like tuberose and you like coconut, I will go with this one. But the, the takeaway in it for me is that solar note. It's the, um, the brightness. When you think of solar note, think of brightness, uh, airiness to it, right? Um, but it is tuberose strong. I will tell you that. Uh, so tuberose is not your note. Then this one might not be the one to try. Uh, the vetiver in it uh, pairs very well with the leather very well with the leather leather but that leather is not um is it's like a leather jacket leather so if you're looking for a smooth leather leather uh not that one this is like a leather jacket type leather papyrus in a casa that's what this one is I know at this point we've gotten to the part of the video where we have discussed various ones. And I know you're wondering, how do I get it, Claudia? All of these sound amazing. How do I get it? I'm not a person who just blind buy. Well, on their website, you can actually get a sample. Uh, you can get one sample for $10. You can do three samples for $25. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's six samples for $45. So it's a two um milliliter sample that you'll be able to receive and then there you could test out the ones that you like maybe some of them that i've already discussed or ones i will discuss as we go on with this video or you can do like i did what i did was i did their subscription uh at the time that i was able to do it you could get one um one vial you could get one vial about this size every month but now I want to say it is this size here and you get it every three months. But the fun part of it is you get to choose which one do you want. So start off with the sample and then decide if you want to go to this size right here, which is $40. Or do you want to do it where you get a, a bunch of them together? At the time that I was trying it out, they didn't have samples. So lucky you, they have it. So in the description, I would have the website where you can go and you can find a sample. Let's keep going with this video. I have so much more to talk about. All right, this one here, I actually have a full bottle of. Uh, so I'm surprised I even still have it in the in the uh, in in the subs subscribe bottle, right? So I probably gonna end up giving this one to someone. This one here is called Plum and Cognac. Oh, this is good. This is really good, right? Plum and Cognac is, has a Martel, rum, Latterman, plum. It has this like balsamic type vinegar note to it, cinnamon and osmosis and osmanthus, should I say, I'm sorry. And I love this one. What can I what can I say about this one here? 
that I haven't said before. I really need to do a individual video on Plum and Cognac. And if I have, I'll make sure that I post it in the card so that you can go watch it. But if I haven't, then it's on my list to make. Plum and Cognac is the best blend of boozy fruitiness, right? The plum is juicy. The rum is, uh, is boozy. Uh, it has a bit of cognac base to it, even though it's not listed in the notes. That M. Martel flower blends in with the balsamic vinegar. I don't know if you've ever had a meal where they put like this fig uh, sauce over it. It's very, uh, very much like that. The Latimer is 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 cozy. I love plum and cognac. <laughs> I love 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 plum and cognac. Uh, I really do. This one is really good. All right, this one here is another one that has an M Martel flower in it. Uh, this is gorgeous in cool weather, and I am talking about oud in cassad. Uh, con and I want to say is uh. Kinsada, Kinsada. But again, I always have the name on the under the bottom. The notes in this one is in Martel Rose. Uh, it's that beautiful, beautiful agar wood. It has this carrot, this carrot note. Um, I don't know if you've ever had carrot juice, but like it has that note, orange blossom, uh, cedar, and like this orris powderiness to it. The oud in here is a good starting oud fragrance, right? Uh, the carrot note is very uh, close to like a carrot juice. Uh, when people, when you, when you juice the carrot, right? So it's like, it has like this really sweet, like aroma to it. That's what's in it. Orange blossom is gorgeous. Uh, the iris note that kind of give it a bit of uh, powderiness. Not lipstick powdery, but like a little soft, powdery, classiness to it. Uh, the fact that it has oud in it uh, is, so don't let the name scare you. This is a good one. The rose is more uh, predominant for me in this one here. So if you want to start on an oud fragrance, this would be a great one to start. All right, I have another one uh, for anyone who's kind of looking for a softer fragrance. You're not really into a uh, very strong fragrance. This one here is called Rain in Oak, right? So Rain in Oak is like this earthy kind of sandy note to it. Uh, and I want to say it's Geo, Geosamine. Uh, but it, when I looked it up, it was like an earthy, sandy note. Like uh, if sand had a had a note, right? Had a sense to it. And I don't really think sand does, but like, you know, that kind of idea. Uh, Rose Absolute, Pink Pepper, Cashmerion, uh, Iris, Latamin, and like this aquatic note, this very watery, fresh, powdery, I mean, aquatic note, right? So that's where the rain comes from. Uh, when you go outside on a uh, freshly, like it just rained outside and you go outside and you have, you can smell the freshness in the air. Um, the cashmere kind of reminds you of a rainy, cold night and you wrap yourself up in this cashmere blanket. That's what it, but it's a, it's a very fresh scent. This is a fresh out the shower scent. This is not a scent that's going to last very long there is pink pepper in this fragrance uh but i i really don't think that the pink pepper is very strong so it's not a, a spicy scent rain in oak if i had to request i would have wanted more oakness more oak base more woodiness in this fragrance but it's it's a nice fragrance but it's very clean this is the like the clean fragrance type clean like that whole clean fragrance line i can see that this going with that very light very light. like it's uh we're talking about it and it's no longer very strong on the card uh it's a very light fragrance okay so we talked about light let's get back into some boozy darkness right this one here is oud and bourbon so it's like a, it's the oud fragrance in like a bourbon barrel 
So in this, you'll get cacao pod coffee. Oh, I love this one. This is another one I love. Uh, Argyle Oud, Saffron, Latterman, Frangipani. And then there's like this green, grassy note, uh, Divana, right, in it. But the green is, don't let that uh, detour you. It's not a green fragrance. That cacao pod and that coffee is so predominant. The argyle oud in it is so predominant uh, with the touch of saffron that you really don't even get the green. It, I think that that note just kind of softens it, kind of gives it more of like an earthy floral base. But the cacao pod is great in this one. <laughs> oh, the chocolate cocoa coffee this is a good one this is a good one this is and i know that um and i've actually put a dent into my sample so i'm not sure if i bought the full bottle of this but if i haven't i'm probably soon will go get the full bottle of this because whenever it gets cold out this is one that i always reach for like i reach up on the shelf where i keep all of these at to get this one i really like this one all right, so this is the last of the ones that I had. This was another one that came this year. Um, and I haven't had an opportunity to really try this one out the way I would like to try it out. Uh, it is called, uh, and I never get this name right, but it is Marcellum in Chap. Let me see, what is it? Marcella in and I'll make sure I list it under the bottom, but I want to say it says Chep Taganar. I'm not quite sure what that is, right? Um, and I don't know. I don't know how I really feel about this one. The notes in it is oak moss, chestnut, uh, cashmerian, tonka bean, Denmark rose, and then like there's a florist floor note, <laughs> and that's what it said: florist fur, uh, floor. That note, I think, is what's kind of shaking me. I know the first name of this fragrance is like a mushroom, right? Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't dislike this one. I, I just don't understand it yet. Like, I'm not understanding this one yet. The oak moss, I kind of get. The chestnut, I wish it was a little bit stronger. The cashmere, it makes it kind of smooth. Uh... The Denmark Rose could have been elevated just a little bit, uh, but there is a greenness, a strong greenness to this fragrance. And, you know, fragrance is subjective. Everyone has a fragrance that they're just not there yet. This is I'm not there yet one. Um, the, the floor of uh, the florist uh, a forest floor note. I'm not sure. To me, it doesn't give me the mushroom. I'm going to just keep trying this one out. So we're going to come back to this one. We're going to come back to this later on in the year. And um, I'll tell you where I'm at with it. Maybe because, it, and again, it's still new. So this year, I didn't really get an opportunity to try all of my fragrances out. So this is one of the newer ones I got this year. Since they are doing it where you get a fragrance every three months. So just this year, I've only gotten two fragrances and that was the uh, Pine and Sun. And then I got this one here. And this is the most recent one that I've got and I'm still trying to figure out where I'm at with it. So if you have enjoyed me talking about Scent of Woods, uh, I appreciate you making it to this uh, far in the, in the video. Put me a wood emoji in the uh chat or in the comments that lets me know that you made it this far i really hope y'all try this out i really hope you try out scent of woods i think that is an amazing line it's really great he hasn't been out very long the owner of the fragrance i want to say no more than two years uh but he hit the ground running and came out with some strong ones right so like i mentioned well i should have already mentioned you can now do samples uh, and the samples are not expensive and it gives you just enough. Uh, these fragrances are ones that you do not need to over spray. So you can get one of the samples and have it for a month and try it out and fall in love with it or try a different one out, right? Uh, they have some really great plans. Like I said before, I started my journey with Scent of Woods through a subscription that I currently even have right now. 
So I get excited every every three months because I don't know what's going to come in the mail and what I'm going to smell new. Uh, I'm so happy you stayed here with me and you watched this video. I enjoyed this. You have a wonderful night, a wonderful day. Whenever it was that you got an opportunity to watch this video, I hope you have subscribed and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any videos that I post. And I will see you in the next video.